Hi, stranger. Okay. How are you doing? It's been a while. It's been a very while. How are you? Good. Oh. Great. So, how have you been? I know I disappeared and I apologize for such a misunderstanding. I was gonna seek again, as you already know. So, I disappear a little bit. I disappear for a little bit, but I'm back and better. Anyways, so um, I didn't catch up on a lot of things with you. So let me know. Um, qu'est-ce que tu veux que je fasse today? Qu'est-ce que tu veux que je te fasse aujourd'hui? sweetheart and send me everything after the end so I can catch up when school begins again so today we're catching up only and I have a lot to talk to you about so get ready but before that let me um let me start by spraying you a little perfume okay but you tell me which one you want okay I have two bottles of perfumes. You tell me which one is convenient for you, okay? So I have, um, I have the Thierry Mugler. I have the Thierry Mugler. It smells very good. And I have, I have the Lady Million of Paco Rabanne. So I already know how it smells because it's mine. But I, um, if you want me to spray it on you, you want to, you want me to spray the lady minion? Okay, no problem. So let's start. Okay, I'll just put it in the hair so you can catch up on everything, and I'll put it on myself too because a lady, oh my god, a lady always has to smell good. So you take some too. All right, so. Oh yes, you can get these items on dossier.com and get 5% off using my code NAILI5 and yeah, this is superior, quality superior. You see how it smell? I'm telling you now. Anyways, let's move on. So, let me remove my glasses. And actually wear my glasses because you know I can't see <laughs> I am legally blind right now so there we go <sighs> now I can see <laughs> Do you want a gum? I got it. Just for you. So. It's bubble gum. It's a bubble gum. You don't want? No? Okay. No problem. So, let's get it started. I will be opening this for myself. Okay. So you want me to just help you? Oh, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I have some news for you. As you already know, I spent my whole summer watching TV, right? I, as always. So I got to show you the new dramas that I watch, but. I have a whole one that I want to recommend you. This drama 
it's history it's fabulous it's just you will love it but before let's just brush your hair first the drama is called the untamed and um actually it's a drama inspired by a book more dice issue i think that's how you say it but my uh, chinese is not good right now because you remember you know i dropped the classes in chinese so i'm trying to learn again but anyways i will be putting the title in the description box with the link of the end theme so you can watch it I am not asking you, I am telling you to watch The Untamed. So, you want me to tell you what it is about? Okay. No problem. I have no problem telling you what it is about. So, but before, let me comb your hair a little bit. is actually a story between two people but due to the censorship in China it's supposed to be a romance but they turn it into a romance but you will be catching the vibe when you watch it I'm telling you it's fantastic but anyways it's a romance romance however you want to call it I will be calling it romance okay so it's a story between we wishing in luncha in luncha 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 that's how you pronounce it <clears throat> anyways luncha and we will see so we will see is actually the main character in this story and luncha is his lover version of story when it's censored it would be uh like the friend but when you read the novel because it's based on the novel it's actually a couple and we love them and we support them and uh, but what we love the most is that he was absolutely he was smart he was absolutely he, he was doing everything good because he was talented he was gifted and a lot of people actually envy him because of that talent and i'm pretty sure they were just jealous so um because of his actually that's the title an untamed personage and um he was absolutely uncontrollable like he does what he wants when he wants and that's why we love him a rebellious character and you know I'm a little bit like that myself because the Aquarius you know <laughs> but anyways absolutely the role is absolutely divine it's played by Xiao Shen that's for Wei Wuxian and uh, Lan Chan is played by Wang Hebo Wang Hebo you'll be seeing all the details but no. <laughs> let me tell you the story and i will show you after if you want to i'll be showing you the poster so you can see you can catch it on netflix i'll share with you i will share with you my netflix password so you can watch it don't worry you know i got you i always got you anyways so like i was telling you the story is quite simple it lives in a sect with um his older sister and his brother and the parent but he's adopted because his parent died they were killed eventually he was adopted by um the master of his dad so they grew up together and everything was fine but he was unrestrained personage he was very cool he was everybody liked him etc and then they end up going to the gusu sect so that's when he met lanchan exactly so keep following okay 
they met there and at first they didn't click but when you will be watching the series i'm telling you i'm convinced that luncheon got his heard on we will share the first time he saw him i guarantee you but you'll be seeing yourself actually you'll be watching it with me so you'll be seeing all the details but yeah they you know they got there on the beginning they fought and um because he was breaking the rules they have like three thousand rules and we will see is not really a person who does follow the rules <laughs> like i told you he's a rebellious personage so he does not follow rules that's not part of his character anyways let me spray your head in a bit just a little bit to make it possible to come in better so avec l'eau ça te dérange pas certainement ok mais tu me dis si ça si ça spray sur ton visage all right so let's carry on so on the beginning they fall and they end up being friends i can't really tell you all the details otherwise you know they end up being friends and they start going in adventure try to solve um crimes that's going on because there's a villain the um the wind clans like that's trying to take over all the other clans and they're not having it on the beginning they didn't really um they didn't really got suspicious of the wind clan but at the end they got hurt by them every all of the sect actually got hurt by the wind clan so later on you know revenge was made and they were killed and you know they were killed by all the clan gathered to, together and uh joined forces to kill the wind clan so yeah and then through that process we will see got captured by uh the son of the um the wind clan and he got thrown in the i forgot the name of the valley the valley but he got thrown in the, the i forgot the name but anyways he got thrown in there and that's when his not misfortune started but like he got into dark forces because before that he had to give his core to his brother uh chion ching he had to give it to him because he lost his when his parents got killed um the core that you have in your body you have to cultivate since they're cultivators and that's what gives you the strength to fight and etc to you know chase monster kind of like a priest or something but he's got lost because he got you know he got kind of whooped by the wind clan and um yeah the call they have one that i forgot his name but he, he has like a hand his hands kind of melt your core so he got melted so we wish he sacrificed himself for his brother so he can he gave him his actual core so that helped him uh you know that helped him and he thought that he was helped by um the master of Wibushin's mom in the mountains but it wasn't it was Wibushin actually that forced um his friend to accompany him and get that process done while Chen Cheng was actually um asleep like they have a transfer of course so he lost his in the process so due to that when he got thrown in that valley he got thrown down in that valley so that's when he developed like um the the dark forces strength but he wasn't trying to use that in a malicious way he was just trying to control you know because he didn't have that power that he used to have anymore so he had to do something a little bit more extreme to protect himself and that's kind of like um problematic for the people 
you know around because some of them he start to create a lot of things and people start jealousing him as you know everybody want the power because if he was super young he was like 16 16 17 yeah super young so give me one second so he was so young Hold on. i'm gonna use this okay there you go he was so so young and um yeah he started to control a lot of things create a lot of things he was very powerful and he had like a the flute that was his um that was his weapon he could control anything um general ghost the winning he got killed and we machine brought him back actually yeah he was controlling him but at the end you can see he is he, going to recover his um his consciousness and yeah become normal kind of but he's still getting a little control but ah we wish him but is it itchy right there okay um let me there we go anyways let's keep on moving so yeah let's go to the name there you go so once he was um you know his strength got bigger and bigger creating a lot and everybody he had like an amulet I, I forgot how you pronounce it this thing i forgot how you pronounce it but anyways <laughs> he had an amulet that everybody wanted and um he was powerful very powerful in the clan the uh landing landing change clan was trying to get hit um the villain was actually there actually in this story a lot of people almost all of them were a villain but we wish he wasn't he wasn't really a villain because they kind of marginalized him and I didn't like that. He was kind of like bullying him. But anyways, he stood up for himself very good. So I like that part. But on the beginning, Lancha didn't really actually help him that much because he, he wasn't understanding. He was trying to protect him in his own way because he was using dark magic. But at the end, love got involved when he died. When she died, of course and he came back later and from there Nancha never left his his side etc but anyways i cannot explain everything to you otherwise you won't be able to get deep into the <laughs> all right so just keep listening that's how the story goes but you'll be loving it i'm telling you it's it's kind of like a happy ending if we can say it. me i'm satisfied with the ending because at the end they kind of like still together even though you know because like i told you they have the censorship in china so they won't really show you that it was a love story but we know if you read the novel i did <laughs> it's everything is there it's not a bromance i guarantee you that <laughs> not a bromance check it out <laughs> but anyways you want me to give you my book uh-uh not happening <laughs> that's my collection okay but anyways which oh, okay hold on hold on one second that transfer to real life actually so the actor because most i watched the the series like i got involved pretty cute and i i really like kind of support the the actors um xiao shen and wang hebo 
I started to support them and follow the very talented people I really like it I really I love when people are talented like not that it impressed me but I have my whole respect like focus on on people who actually have talent and they're not pretentious they're not super flu people they're very humble like that's rare you know very rare but yeah stay still a little bit it's not it doesn't hurt anyways I'll be using I'll be using this to scratch your scalp a little bit so like I was telling you um, I got pretty much involved with uh, with the real person uh, with the real people playing the, the character I get impressed but there's a side story to these people and that's the part that got spicy <laughs> let me tell you something so the show actually have like a behind the scene with the time they were together because that's the thing they do in china they like you know record the uh, movie and they also show what the actors do on the behind the scene the bts so on the bts those two were super close uh luncheon and um we will see as the character in the movie but Xiao Shen and Wang Hebo were very super duper close they were best friends they were actually best friends but um, allegedly on surfaces they are not friends anymore because there were a big scandal about you know some twisted situation that got them involved and got a website banned in china everybody was blaming shane's like I, um, I didn't like that when i read that part because it was completely innocent but he got blamed for whatever happened everything was blamed on him but he came back stronger so stronger like he came back so strong he's dominating like the whole entire chinese entertainment as an actor right now like he knows how to sing he knows how to act girl and that's the same for uh Yibo. like they're very very in my opinion and don't quote me they are very synchronized and i don't want to say soulmate because people out there will be targeting me <laughs> and saying oh don't say that like if you fall on this video and you think that i am over exaggerating yes i am a proud turtle <laughs> yes i am a proud turtle okay a proud turtle <laughs> anyways because i say that what is a turtle a tartaruga a turtle is actually the name of the um the the people because they, they have like this thing in asia with the sheep the actors shipping is like you already know shipping right so they ship the actors who is with who will make a perfect couple who is whatever you know even if it's in movie or stuff these two people have a lot of rumor going on about them everybody try to you know <laughs> tie themselves to, to them like either is uh, Shen either is Yibo both of them like everybody want to date them but they always denied the rumors which led me to there were always rumors about them two dating never denied never never denied but <laughs> yeah people online saying yeah they're using it for publicity and then using it for fans whatever that's real life and I promise you they won't actually compromise the situation because uh, you know actually being gay homosexual bisexual extraterrestrial whatever <laughs> it's actually prohibited in China you know 
in they are actually using this explanation saying oh um they they're using this as an opportunity to gain fame and etc but what about the international people like us that don't live in china but we support them internationally it's not only us it's everywhere every continent like they have fans everywhere so anyways you become a fan too because your bestie is a fan too <laughs> you have no choice what i do you do what you do i do anyways <laughs> so yeah that's the that's the thing and um let me keep scratching anyway so yeah the story of uh we wishing and lam chan actually kind of bled into the real people into real life and i am convinced i will put my hand in fire and i won't like my third high see it they're still in contact because allegedly they are not and there's a war between the fans like this there's a war between <laughs> all the fans with which is funny because Lung Chan's solo fans always attacking um not Lung Chan Wang Yibo solo fan always attacking uh Xiao Shen's um solo fans and vice versa <laughs> and everybody attacking the turtles <laughs> And everybody attacking the turtles because they're like, oh, y'all are trying to say that they are gay. And which I don't see any problem. I am a supportive person. What one eat doesn't make me okay. <laughs> so I will support anybody as long as not slandering the person. As long as it doesn't make it do harms to them as long as long as we pray that you live happily every time everywhere anytime anyway but anyways let's keep on let's keep on moving with the subject but yeah that that was actually the um yeah i was invested in this i was like i'm gonna let you know so you can watch it with me you want me to come your hair a little bit hold on one second i will have to come your hair a little bit okay put it all right so my thing is i actually support everybody and um hold on i actually support everybody but yeah i would just keep saying allegedly because people are actually in the war zone when it comes to these two and there's these people in the middle <laughs> the turtles and I kind of fit in the middle because I actually love turtles. I used to have one when I was a kid. And I was like, they're not hurting anybody. They're not spreading rumors. They are not. So everybody is mad at them because they're like, what are you trying to say that they are, you know? I am like, what? You bisexual, homosexual, transsexual, two sexual, <laughs> like <laughs> bisexual, alien, like why anybody should care? That is your choice. You live your life the way you want it, without regrets, and whatever happens, happens. Whatever. you are what you are 
you are what you are. I won't ever judge you. Ever. But the point is, you have to watch this show. So next time we can talk about it. So you'll be seeing what I'm talking about. Because I'm telling you that because there's another, a lot of shows that came after that involving Xiao Shen and uh, Wang Hebo. You have to watch it because the rest is absolutely magnificent. Okay. Um, the new shows already, <laughs> already half done because yeah it came like a little while ago so they're about to be over with the new shows they have a lot more of shows but i want to show you the one that i like first and then you can check it out and also one hebo got a lot of movies that is um i'm gonna burn myself a little bit sorry if i burn you let me know So, Ibo actually got like some movies coming, a lot of them, and he had whole ones too, that, um, he had some new ones that came, he's a very good actor, like, people will hate, people will love, that's their opinion, people will be having a lot of judgment and you can be perfect because these two guys are close to perfection they have it in the face they have it in the talent in the discreet and humble but people still criticize them so you got to be who you are unapologetically always because regardless they will criticize you it shouldn't matter it shouldn't matter at all because People are hypocrites. So, the reason why they, the reason why they used to call me arrogant when I was in high school because I was keeping to myself. I always did what the, I wanted to do. I am unrestrained and rebellious. I goes by the characteristic of my person, which you know, I am an Aquarius you already know so you can kind of figure it out <laughs> nobody tells me what to do I'll do whatever I want when I want however I want it but yeah I watch it I watch it this because I was watching a lot of TV in uh, in in the US and I was watching a lot of movies and I am tired of all the sex all the this all the that in the movies i was pretty tired so i start watching chinese dramas and korean dramas and i really love it because there's not too much oh my god like <laughs> you know it's it's, it's a very it's fighting it's um uh, it's romance but soft it's um it's beautiful costumes oh my god I get so many ideas but I don't you know I will be exercising it later with the makeups and the you know the flow I really love it you can mix it you know mix the mod modern flow and the ancient flow like absolutely fantastic so I really love it I'll be um I'll be I'll be using it soon so yes anyways so now I combed it let me there we go let's go I'm gonna give you another round and we'll be stopping it so yeah that's the um, the stuff I wanted to talk to you about that's what I wanted to talk to you about you um you go ahead and watch the show i'll be giving you the password for the netflix and um i'll actually open my account if you want to i give you my phone and you watch it on there you know the second phone not my phone because how would you call me the second phone okay and afterwards 
I'll be showing you the rest of the drama. But now that you are going to watch it, you'll be a turtle just like I am. <laughs> Anyways, I'm joking. You don't have to. You stick to your beliefs. I will never force you or tell you what to do. I'm not like that. You already know it. So I was just joking. But anyways. Yeah. So that's about it. And uh, yeah. For the most part. I became a turtle. Because I have nothing to do. <laughs> but watch TV watch a lot of TV and you got a lot of gray hair you want me to remove it next time okay will we do that alright beautiful Anyways, that's, I think that's good for today, so don't forget we gotta meet another time very soon before back to school because um, we have to shopping, we have to do a lot of shopping, you know there's no uniform so you gotta get a lot of clothes. Anyways, let me remove my glass because it make it. <laughs> bah, let me fix my because I want some my eyes get a little smaller every time. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because I'm getting old, you know. But anyways. So yeah, that's about it. And don't forget you ask me about um about the dossier or perfume i'll be sending you all the details you can check it in the description box but i'll be checking it out on your phone so you can get you some too anyways that's about it but yeah don't forget you got to watch the intent i will be showing you on the phone the other phone i'll be taking it out the purse now so you can stop watching it I want you to watch it because, like I told you, I like to share with you the stuff that I like. I like to share with you the stuff that I like. So, it's the same when you show me movies that you like, even though you like a lot of horror movies and horror movies is not really my you know i watch it but the only good movie that i really really love about horror movie there's a lot of that but like recently is insidious all the chapters you know we watch it insidious is very very good very very good i really love it there's a new one actually I think there's a new one that came out so we gotta go check it out but insidious is good too but when i don't watch that you know i watch a lot of k drama c drama all the dramas <laughs> yes you already know so i'm not ashamed i am not never will be never there we go It was good. It was good to see you today. And um we are going to go to the to the mall later on. But I have to first go back home, get changed because you know I am anemic so so I'll be seeing you in a little bit. 
like tomorrow we gotta shopping get ready for back to school so no blah blah i don't want to hear anything i don't want to hear any excuse so we gotta go and be done with that part so you can watch the show actually i'll be watching it with you once we finish but yeah so let's get going let me clip your hair up there we go perfect so let's get going and don't forget don't forget if you are looking for the dossier perfumes you'll be seeing all the details in the description down below okay and i also have this one if you want it i'll be giving it to you okay no problem so i see you tomorrow tomorrow um you come pick me up okay